Please welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Precious Oyeleke. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber. I film about faith, relationship, and lifestyle. On today's video, we're going to be talking about favor. We're going to talk about the secret behind favor and how you know we can enhance it, how we can convert the grace behind favor. So, if you want to know more about favor, you want to know more about the secrets behind favor, please do well to watch this video to the end. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please make a comment down below, like in the comment section. Thank you very much. Yeah, favor is what distinguishes you from another person. Favor is the grace of God upon your life that makes the little thing you are doing to become so significant that people are going to be like, ah, ah, that person is favored. That person is just enjoying the kind of favor that we can't ex understand, that we cannot put a name to. You know, favor is what makes you to be like, when you know when you have tried everything and God is like, no, let me step in for you. Let me favor this girl. Let me favor this boy. And favor is a continuous process. It's not a one-time thing. If someone is enjoying favor, it is a continuous and a lifetime experience. It's not like you are favored today, then it's until the next 50 years for the person is favored. No. Favor does not work like that. Favor is a continuous, continuous process. If there's any English like that. It's a continuous and a continuous process. The one of the person in the scripture that I'm going to use as a scenario is Mary. Mary is someone that you no know, enjoyed favor. You now when the angel wanted to come and visit her, and the Gabriel wanted to come and give her the good news, he said, "You are highly favored among all women." That is Luke one verse twenty eight. I'm going to put the scriptures here. Luke one verse twenty eight. No, um, the angel angel Gabriel said, "You are highly favored among women." It's not that because she was like yes, she was a virgin, it's one of the criteria, she's a good woman and everything, but she was favored. Like God chose her to to know to carry Jesus. It is like it's a special thing. Like it's something that should be like, oh maybe how did you do it? Because she was favored, it's not something that we can understand or put a name to. So Mary was favored. She was like not not just because of that, like she she's a special woman. You know, for someone to end that kind of situation, she was going to be pregnant, she was because she was going to be want to conceive Jesus, she was going to be impregnated by the Holy Spirit. And not any man. You know, it's something I cannot really understand, but she still played to it. She was like, no, God, let your will be done. Like, do unto me as you please. How many of us can say that? That God, you know, God should do unto us as, as he pleases. So, and I'm going to be saying like, we all need favor. This favor is what makes you different. It's what makes you unique. It's what makes you special. And when you go for a particular event, you just favored. When you write a particular exam and you've done your best, and God does like God just grants your best with with the best of the best. You no know, favor is unique, and it is what every woman being, every Christian should desire. Like it is our reality as Christians. It's something we should walk in. It's something that we should always exhibit. That we should always be like God, because I'm a Christian. I enjoy favor. There was a particular time in my life that was like, now saying four hundred eleven in institution. Anytime I do devotion in my house in school, then I used to be like, oh, I used to say this commission every day. I used to call the commission for every. Every day, and I'm close to favor. When people see me, they encounter favor. When people see me, they come in contact with favor. When people see me, they see favor. I kept on saying that word for weeks, for months. That at a particular point, that word begin to come to realization. I stopped spending money on transport. People begin to give me like I used to enjoy free food, like because I used to say it very well. I enjoy favor. I enjoy favor. I'm close with favor. When you see me, you see favor. I like the exams. Exams that I'm like, I don't really do my best. Now, be seen. I have A's. The first like, exam I did in school then, like that exam, I was not expecting. I was expecting to be a C. What's was I'm expecting it like let's say a B. When I see my results, I had was not seven something or eighty something. I had an A. I had distinction. And I was not expecting it from that. And that cost was like a four units because I was not expecting it at all. But you know when I don't have any senior that I'm close with favor. So for me to be close with favor, that means my exams will be close with favor. My my results will be close with favor. And really, I was I really experienced favor. And as I'm always I'm always reminding myself of that fact that no pressures you are close with favor. As you go out today, you experience favor. As I walk in today, I experience favor. So to everybody as I'm watching this video, just go and see it and I'm close with favor. I experience favor. I enjoy favor. In my going out, in my coming. And that person I'm going to be using as a scenario for this video is Esther. Esther is a woman of favor. Esther is a woman of favor. Esther is a woman of favor. In the scriptures, when the, when the king, when Queen Basti, you know, when she made a mistake and you know, God had, um, the king had to replace her, Esther was the chosen one. 
No, a particular maid in the house, in the palace, gave Esther a particular fragrance that she should be using to cover her, to clean herself, like some oils and everything to clean herself. And when the king saw her, the king was like, no, 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 it is Esther I want. Like, Esther was favored. The king preferred that among all the other virgins. Imagine about 100 ladies, more than 100 ladies, parading before the king. And the king just be like, no, I just want. There will be other women that might be beautiful than her. My brother woman that you know, might be special than her. But she was the most preferred. She was preferred. And another situation I don't want to say is that the time that um, the one our man wanted to you know try to torment Mordecai, I wanted to make like wanted to just plan some things for Mordecai. And Mordecai had to be like, Esther, we have to do something about it. And Esther was like, nobody entered into the front of the king without telling him that like after an appointment for the king, or else the king is to kill that person. But Esther was like, you people should pray. I will also pray. I know that if I should go, that if I perish, I perish. But she went before the king, and the king, because she's a woman of favor, the king listened to her like she's like oh oh my king i want to pay a banquet for you and the king was like yes like no you know that eagerness was there it was, and it was not something that was supposed to happen or because she was favored so please i believe that as christians as believers in jesus christ we should enjoy this experience we should experience it people should be our lifestyle like it should be a normal thing that we should enjoy not something that we should enjoy once in a while it is our normal experience it's something that should be like oh favor i'm always favored in my going out my coming i'm always favored and what i'm going to be saying is that favor can be converted in the place of prayers we should keep on praying it that god i'm favored like it is always my prayer point like i can say like almost every day i pray it and i'm favored in everything i do i'm favored among all men like that grace that means that that's just allowed me to be preferred among all men. I receive it. That means to be filled among all men. And when God is like, oh, who do you want to use in this nation? Who do you want to use in this city? Oh, let me just let me pick my daughter. Let me pick my son. So you know, we should always pray for that grace. We should pray for the grace to be favored at all time and at every point in our life. So please and please, I just pray that we all enjoy this, we enjoy this experience, we enjoy this reality. It goes from what it becomes a reality in our life. And when we step into a place, people just favor us. It's like at this at the sight of light, darkness disappears. Nothing like there will still be a shadow of a, a shadow of darkness. Mm -mm. Darkness is gone when there is light. So when we step into a place, favor step in. Like sees like that reality. Can I hear an amen there? Amen. So let us see that as that reality that we walk in favor. And so if you experience more favor, you need to chew the word of God. You need to begin to look for experiences in the Bible and see like, oh, for Esther to experience favor, so experience favor. For Mary to experience favor, so I experience favor. For Jesus, Jesus was favored. Jesus is the man of favor. Because for men to listen to him, that means he was favored. Because you can just sit down and people start listening to you for hours. It was the son that was be favored. So Jesus was favored. Apostle Paul was Apostle Paul was a man. Like he's a phenomenal man. That man is you no know, the best. So please, I, I know that it is something that we all want to enjoy, we all want to experience. But we need to we need to keep on aligning with the God to be in our mind, to be in our mouth. That anytime you're like this is not looking as if it's going to happen for me. Help me to help me to decree that oh I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person of favor. So it's going to work for me. This is going to work for me. This situation will end up working in my favor. Like keep the queen that word, keep the queen that word, keep the queen that word. A particular day, that word, it's no longer, it will go from being word, it will become a reality all the days of your life. God has blessed us in Jesus' name. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. I love you.